Welcome back to Roland's Travels, and today we're in the town of Carn in Wiltshire and at the Castle Fields Canal and River Park, where we're going to take a look at the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal and the old Carn Railway. Don't go away. So this is where the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal would be. Then use the lock to get down to the level of the river, which in days gone by would have been navigable, and taken us up to the wharf to unload the goods. Well, let's take a walk now up to where the wharf was and you can see this is the River Marden running along the main road here in Carn, and this was the wharf so the canal at the lock would have dropped the barges down onto the river which was uh, probably made a little bit deeper by dredging than it currently is and would bring you through to the wharf where the goods would be unloaded so as we look over the bridge we will see the area that was the wharf here in Carn which of course has all been modernised now uh, with some nice buildings, apartments over on the left as we look at it some more modern housing too on the right hand side we'll take a walk around Khan later on let's go and look at the uh, lock here now shall we the Wilson Barks Canal was uh, created with the Act of Parliament in 1795 and it was completed in 1810. Not bad for 70 miles of uh, canal work was it in those days. It was closed in 1914 like many canals due to the prevalence of the railway and bringing about the much uh, quicker distribution of goods. It runs from Semington just outside of Trowbridge all the way through to Abingdon where it joins the River Thames. The Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal Trust are looking forward to renovating the canal. Some little sections have been done. Uh, much of the canal in the past has been destroyed and built over so as it passes through Chippenham for example and Melksham that's uh, long gone but they're looking to reroute it so that the canal can be fully restored so that's great and uh, uh, this little offshoot that comes to a dead end in Carn also could be rebuilt and opened up so Pleasure Craft would be able to go along it again. It's a great place too for wildlife, for people to walk and to cycle along the towpath. So uh, when you get a chance, do come along and see parts of the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal and enjoy it. So here we come to the Chavy Well Spring. Interesting story behind this and that's what the plaque is on the wall for this lovely spring water that you've got flowing down into the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal section there. Between 1880 and 1890 there was an epidemic in Carn. Now that was probably typhoid and the only clean source of drinking water was this one here, the Chavy Well, that you could rely on not to catch the disease. So uh, in a moment just pause the video and uh, read the sign for yourself if you'd like to do that. So this is the River Marden which flows through Carn and where the Wiltshire and Berkshire Canal uh, used the last lock to drop down barges onto the river. So now we're walking through the country park to take us up onto the former embankment of the railway and we'll tell you something about the railway when we get there. So 
So here we are, we're going up the side of the embankment now and we'll finish up on what was the track bed of the railway, originally built by the Khan Railway Company in 1862. And the Khan station opened in 1863. It was taken over eventually by GWR, the Great Western Railway, in 1892. It's just a single track railway and uh, it really served the many mills that were in Khan at the time, plus the very famous bacon factory, Harris's of Khan, which closed a few decades ago now and the land has been developed on. But take a look at these pictures going back to the old Khan railway station from the late 1880s through to the 1960s. Khan was actually one of the busiest stations in Wiltshire, particularly due to the Harris factory bringing in live pigs and taking away meat products. The railway track was originally broad gauge, but was converted to standard gauge in 1874 on the 15th and 16th of August. It was converted for the cost of £500. The arrow indicates where the station was, as you can see, Station Road, which is just literally off the town centre. Now you can walk or cycle all the way to Chippenham where the railway used to meet the original GWR London to Bristol line and of course that's where the good would then be on the main line. It really is a nice walk and as you can see beautiful countryside to cycle or walk through and it's around about seven miles from Khan to Chippenham along this track. stuff here by the looks of it. Looks like there's a bit of an embankment wall still remaining here. Well overgrown but it is all buried under there. So now we've arrived at uh, Black Dog Halt, which was the private station for the Bowood Estate, and uh, it was only made public in 1952, having been opened around 1863 by the Marquis of Lansdowne for his own personal use. The only other stop on the line was at Stanley, just a few miles further down uh, the track going towards Chippenham. Now this is where the railway track crosses the A4. Uh, the bridge is gone but a new footbridge, cycling bridge, was put in place so that this track could be opened as part of the cycleway system in Britain. So it's very nice to be able to use that. This is where we're going to end our journey but we'll be taking you round Khan in the next video. So do subscribe, do click the notification bell, leave a comment in the box below and we certainly thank you for watching this video and joining Roland's travels. I'm Roland, saying goodbye for now.